Today we're going to talk about a controversial subject that's controversial to many of us. Doesn't seem to be to the world though, and this subject is the subject of tongues. I'd like to invite you to just take your Bible, it'll make a good reference for you, and maybe a Strong's Concordance or other good material, and look at what the Scripture says. The second chapter of Acts, the apostles received the Holy Spirit. There is a direct link between the Holy Spirit and the second chapter of Acts, for it was the day that was promised from Christ that the Holy Spirit would come to the earth. A lot of people in today's society, though, are getting confused concerning the Holy Spirit and tongues and their relationship with one another. Is Bible tongues what Pentecostals practice today, the gibberish that they have? Is this what happened to the apostles on the day of Pentecost, the 120 that were gathered in the upper room? Or are these two different things? I'd like for you to examine, dig a little bit into this subject, find out about it, and see what the Bible has to say. The gift of tongues according to the Bible, is the gift of languages. Look it up in the Greek. Get your Strong's Concordance in your Bible and study it. Find out that this word glossa from the Greek is not a jibber-jabber or an unknown language. It is actually a language of this earth, not an angelic language, not a prayer language. You'll find in Acts 2 that the disciples have told us that every man heard in the tongue wherein he was born. There was no need for an interpreter. They didn't have to interpret these tongues, for these tongues were languages that were understood by the multitudes. I'll give you a dollar for any service that you can walk into or private prayer language that you can understand. It's not a normal language being spoken. It's something that has been concocted, and we disagree with it, just like the Bible disagrees with it. You can take the Bible and reference it, and you'll find out that this word glossa from Acts 2 is also the same word that was used in the book of 1 Corinthians on many occasions. It's used over and over. But the modern people of today in the 21st century want to say that tongues is something that cannot be understood and has to have an interpreter. That's just not true. So I invite you to study. Did Paul say he spoke in many tongues? Sure, he did. But remember, the definition is languages. He was bilingual. And we don't need to be jibber-jabbering in a tongue that cannot be understood when this is not what happened on the day of Pentecost. If you want the real Holy Ghost, you get the same blueprint as what had happened on the day of Pentecost. Here, there were a multitude of peoples from many foreign countries. Whenever the disciples spoke, the multitude understood them in the language wherein they were born, not a jibber-jabber. So check it out. Check Glossa out. Find out that what is going on in today's modern world, along with all the antics that accompany praying in tongues, you'll find out that it's just not true. But you have to look at the Bible 